Okay, so just playing a 15 minute zero increment rapid game. Just looking to open up this center. Is that looking okay? Let's capture this palm. Let's keep it simple. So they're attacking the pawn, so we could just develop a piece as we do normally. And they're getting very swift with their moves. I think I'm bringing my bishop here, just to circumvent this sort of thing. Oh, I thought they would have gone and castled. Okay, so I'm going to swing the knight through. Bishop takes, bring the pawn across. Yep, yeah, okay, so we'll just bring the pawn across. Nice highly developed piece, probably going to bring his queen here at some point. Let's castle first. Okay, so the knight's out, so we're just going to bring our bishop out as well. So we've got all our pieces out into the game. And he's forceful with his knight coming down, but he's actually attacking this pawn here. Uh, we did say it's going to be attacked at some point. Can bring the bishop here. I think we do that, then it's bringing the queen for a 2 on 1. Yeah, well, queen there, either way, he's putting a 2 on 1. So we did say that was going to be challenged, but in my heart of hearts, I'm believing even if they capture the pawn, they're going to be in not as good a state as they think they are i'm actually looking to open up my king and get the rook across here then we'll be facing their king area with the potential for the bishop coming here so i'm going to see how that operates i'm going to push this pawn up so i've mentioned the plan see whether or not that takes off or not he might just shove us out of the way Yeah, so he is attacking the bishop. They can see the plan that we're trying to put in place. Uh, we can move the bishop back and attack his knight. We can bring it back here. Just to still be a bit of a nuisance. Which one's best? So if his knight takes, the queen takes anyway. If his knight takes, the pawn, pawn takes. Bishop's still got protection. Okay, let's just keep this subliminal pressure on with the idea of pressuring, oh he's moved the queen off so now he's got his own idea, he moved there dead quick because his knight's coming here putting a check on our king also putting a check on the bishop which he's going to get for free so we could just move the bishop here or is there anything else that can block that particular manoeuvre bishop can come here just blocking that off do we lose the knight, do we lose the pawn, no because we've still got the pawn on there so I think we're going to bring the bishop here, so trying to circumvent the potential attacks as we mentioned in the previous video on the quick and dirty tactics. So he does actually capture, now taking with the queen or taking with the knight, my knee jerk reaction is taking with the queen because he looks like he's um, obviously going to be taking with the knight so that's why they moved a little bit swift there. So he's attacking the pawn here with his knight. So now he's got an x-ray through to our king, queen with his rook okay so everything seems to be falling into place for them so we could move here but the queen will take us uh, we could move here and keep protecting the pawn but then i think his pawn is just going to drop down onto us yeah so if we moved here his pawn just drops down could take with the knight but then his knight steady on his knight takes cat's going crazy Knight takes and that doesn't look too good for us. Bishop takes and he takes the bishop as well. So that's not going to work out. Um, we can attack his queen. But we are going to lose this pawn. So we could just push this pawn up. And then when his bishop moves then we can move the queen behind. I suppose. I think we'll probably go with that. Yeah let's go with that. That seems a little bit safer. He's going to go and attack something else, I suppose. But I think the bishop moved for now because he's wanting to pressure the queen. So I feel like we've circumvented most of the tactical arrangements that they were planning. 
now we have to jostle for position this is quite a nice position it's just that it does have a pawn that can he's not gone for it just yet so do we that gives us opportunity to maybe attack his queen now then I know the computer was definitely going to frown on me looking to exchange the queen off attack he says no but he's not going to come here because he get taken says no so he goes back Let's see, the rook's protecting the pawn here. You're going crazy. What's up? Me? Hey. Okay, so the rook's come down to defend. So I'm taking the queen. I don't really want to discuss anything there. That looked a bit strange. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. So do we want to double the rooks up now then? This pawn's blocking here. I'm going to double the rooks, maybe. Well, attempt to double the rooks. I don't know if. Oh, he's um. Oh, and he's got my bishop. I'm going to take there, and then his knight can take back. He's not taking back, so he's owning files and stuff. Oh, I'm going to have to take there because he's owning that situation at the minute. Uh, I don't have to take his knight, but it seems okay. Let's take. Smooth the king up. So this is a funky ending. He's got like a nice cluster of pawns going on there. Just wondering if exchanging is the right thing. Let's go. Are we going to be swift enough to jump in the middle here? Hopefully that gives their king something to worry about because he's having to babysit this pawn. But he does have this kind of situation. If I elevate this pawn up, maybe we can block off any type of stuff here. Is there a combination of moves? If we push here and say he does take, we take, then they take. Maybe we'll just leave that leave that for now because I think there's hopefully fingers crossed something we can do here I'm not sure now <laughs> it looks better for us because we're highly elevated but we need to disturb these pawns but if I push this pawn on here he's just going to push past and then we're kind of lost so if I push onto his pawn here then we can Ooh. yeah okay push onto the pawn we can't move this pawn. We have to. Might be a draw then. So if we push here, then he takes. Then we can. If we push here, then he takes. And we can take this pawn here, but we're going backwards. So that might be a bit of a loser for us. And then we take, but then his king comes down, starts giving us a bit of aggro. He's going to start, or oh, hopefully he can't squeeze across there. Oh, oh, and then we take, and then he goes around the side. Uh, yeah, he's got, oh, he's got my pawns empty. He's got my pawns, he's going to make it down there faster than me. One gets there, so I'm going backwards. That's not a good sign. Mm -mm -mm. We're plus one, but it's doubled. Yeah, so he wants me to go here so he can go there, so then he can go there, and then that's the job done, isn't it? Ay, 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 ay. I think I missed time that, didn't I? Going backwards is a killer. Go back, he comes here, and I can't move from there ever. Oh, that's sad. Okay, just keep plodding away. He might make a mistake. Just keep going there, then, like that. It's a draw. 
because if I go here then he just makes his way around here oh, what, because what am I going there for I'm just blocking his king he goes there and then I have to come back around again let's go here let's go there it looks like it's a definitely a draw hmm, if I squeeze up he moves across so he don't move that far let me do a count before we go for the draw goes there he goes there push this up he comes down we come across he comes down no that does definitely doesn't work does that that definitely doesn't work it's a draw oh it's not press the free oh it's a draw maybe he missed it because he moved fast That definitely doesn't work. Takes, takes. Yeah, it's a draw. Let's let's both click it, guys. Come on. Yeah, threefold draw. Interesting. Okay, I think I messed up on the position on the end bit. Shall we have a look at the old analysis there? Okay, let's uh, do, 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 take them off. Let's have a quick shifty, let's get to the position. Don't need to go through all of that stuff there. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's just this. Right, okay, so at this moment it's a draw. Okay. But he's got a bit of a cluster in the center, so they're slightly winning. And then we go for the exchange. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for the exchange, really. I was umming and ahhing about going for the exchange one time. But it, it felt all right. Mm, yeah, sort of the slightest of advantages. It's minus point seven. That's nothing really. Yeah, it's still minus point. It's gone up now. Plus points. Yeah. Now I knew we had something. I think we messed up somewhere. This is plus one point two now. It's nothing major though, it's not past the two mark. It's gone up to plus two now, it is. We messed it up. Oh, we brought the king over up to the wrong side, I think. Oh, no. Or was it focused on that diagonal? Did it not hit that diagonal anyway? Okay, well it dropped to z to draw there, and then it's gone back up again. Three plus three now. I knew there was something, but why did I make the wrong move? What what was wrong? It's plus four. So getting my king to this position was the right thing to do. I felt it was winning. What what did I do wrong? Come on, help me learn. Plus six now it is. Wow, it must be impossible to lose from a plus six. Well, it's plus seven now. Doesn't like that move at all. It's focused on this area here, blocking this down. Here for blocking this pawn from moving any further down. And then the king is just doing doing the dance oh man that one move stopping that pawn from coming down oh because that gave them a bit of weight because then we with the captures and stuff yeah damn okay yeah got to remember that I must have known that in the back of my head, but I just got carried away with myself. I should have just blocked the good missile from there. That would have given us a good rhythm then of attack. Damn it! Good game.